We still don't even know where Peaches said, y'all. Where Peaches said, somebody needs to put an APB out on Peaches because we still haven't even found him and the other $5 million. So, I mean, it's just a lot going on. So, y'all, up, y'all, it's your girl EJ, and welcome back to the recap, y'all. Now, today, we're going to be talking about Snowfall. Now, y'all know I'm going to be giving y'all my top moments of what went down on Snowfall this episode. Now, this was a really good episode, y'all. I ain't even going to lie. It was a pretty good episode, but because nothing happened that I wanted to happen, you know, I was a little disappointed. So, anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and check it out. If you like it over here, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to your girl channel for all my day ones that have been rocking with your girl then definitely go ahead and like share and comment on the video now y'all let's go ahead and jump into these top moments he's the first person ever put me first he's doing it okay so one of my favorite moments was when veronique held it down for franklin you know i've been on the fence about her i won't even lie like some moments i trust her and then there's some moments that i just don't trust her like i don't know what she's gonna do like I was just like, mm, is she to be trusted? We all know that Franklin has a horrible history with the women that he's been dealing with. So sometimes I just don't know. But Verne came through in this particular episode. I mean, her mom wanted her to jet off and leave Franklin hanging in the dust and they can go raise the baby together. But she was like, no. You know, and she went with her man. So I'm going to say that's what's up to Veronique. I mean, kudos to her. She definitely did her thing in this particular episode. So many questions I wanted to ask. Well, another one of my top moments was when we had to deal with Ruben and Teddy. Like, this was such a dumb moment, but yet still a top moment. But at the end of the day, I'm just thinking KGB, like, dude, you gonna let this dude run up on you like this. He gonna walk into your place and then you not gonna do anything. Like, the least you could have done was just poison Teddy and kept it pushing. And then Franklin just could have tried to get his money back. However, because the money's still out there, clearly it hasn't went to the CIA or wherever else they send it to, you know, to fund the war so it's still out there somewhere but at the end of the day you should have just poisoned him and let it be and then nobody would have known about your little secret and you could have just went on with life you know that's how I felt about it Top moment was when your boy Franklin decided that he was gonna double back. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, I was a little shocked that Franklin doubled back, but it felt like it was coming, it felt like he was going to do so. Now, when he was in there at first, he looked like he was good, you know. When Louis tells him, you know, you're the reason why I'm in here, and he's like, Oh, really? And then he leaves, and I'm just like, okay, Franklin, about that life. Franklin say, whatever happened, happened. But then Franklin changed his mind, guys, and there we have it. And then he goes off to try to help his uncle and everybody, you know, get Louis back. And I ain't even gonna lie, I just wanted Louis to die, but that didn't happen. So it is what it is. So, you know, Franklin actually turning back around and going to help Louis was another one of those top moments of mine, y'all. So there's that. Mm. Well, all right, man. Now, another top moment that I had in this particular episode was when we saw this fake ass pimp come in. Like, this was such a dumb scene. Like, I don't even understand why they really even had this scene in the entire show. Honestly, this doesn't really even feel like my top moments at this moment. I guess it was just like some of the top things that I took from the episode at this point because they weren't like just great. Like I was so excited about these moments per se, but for some of them, I was just like, why was this even in here? Why did this happen? Like I'm just questioning everything at this point. But like I said, it was still a good episode and I guess that's what a good episode is supposed to do. Make you question everything and figure out why the hell they went this route when they should have did this but anyway y'all so when old fake pimp comes up in there you know with his hair all down to the side and when he doing all this extra stuff I'm like dude what is you doing why is you even here like what are you about to do so anyway y'all I thought that whole scene was just crazy 
crazy ridiculous and I honestly didn't really see it coming but Kane is a little twisted dude was a little twisted I mean it is what it is and while we're on the subject of her being up in here let's just say this that was so dumb of Louis to not give up Buckley Buckley is literally a cop who cares about this cop like he already he already out here smoking crack you already know that he owned drugs like he's no good for your organization I would have gave him up so quick I wouldn't have even cared I would have been like look there he is this him and maybe they would have just went ahead and killed her quickly who knows but maybe not like I said Kane was a little bit twisted in this episode so it is what it is Nah, nigga. Now, another top moment for me was when Jerome actually gets killed, y'all. Like, we've been seeing this about to happen for the longest. We knew this was going to happen. We knew that Jerome was going to take a tumble. I mean, I don't know how many people have predicted that Jerome was going to die in this particular episode, but to actually see him die, I mean, it was honestly a little bit sad, like a smidget, just because when Frank was like, uh... Uh, I mean, these guys were acting their asses off in this particular episode, but that was the only part that really moved me. I ain't even gonna lie. At the end of the day, Jerome died was a casualty of Louis' transgressions, of all the moves that she made. He didn't have to die. He died because of all the choices that she made. And at the end of the day, she is ultimately the reason why Jerome is dead. And that is what it is. Like, no one can convince me that Louis is not the reason why Jerome is actually dead. Because if she never orders that hit on Kane that she actually does behind everybody's back, then Kane has no reason to come after her. Therefore, Kane and Jerome wouldn't have been in an old-fashioned shootout shooting at each other, and he wouldn't have been dead. At the end of the day, Jerome should have just took his ass to Jamaica, wherever he was trying to go, when he said that he was about to get on a plane and leave. He should have just left, but, you know. It is what it is, y'all. So anyway, y'all, those were my top moments of Snowfall. We are actually getting really, really close to the end. We're on episode six, and I believe they always have 10 episodes. So it's kind of crazy to see what's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to be able to really pull everything back together. We still don't even know where Peaches at, y'all. Where are Peaches at? Somebody needs to put an APB out on Peaches because we still haven't even found him and the other $5 million. So... I mean, it's just a lot going on. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode of Snowfall. Go ahead and get the conversation started down below. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to your girl channel. Turn on your notifications so that you do not miss out on any of my future Snowfall videos. Now, YouTube says that you just might like this video next. So go ahead and check it out. Until next time, guys. Peace.